Minister of State Joseph Harmon said the provision of internet service to the Cato Secondary School is part of an ongoing program to allow schools across the country to get updated with the digital age. Harmon explained more about the initiative as he briefed media operatives on matters that were up for discussion during the last cabinet meeting. This service is also being provided at secondary schools at Mabaruma, Port Kaituma, Santa Rosa, Aishalton, Lethem, Anai, Parmakatoy, Waramadang, Pokwani, Madia, and Bartika. These schools in the hinterland are outside of the government e-network reach and requires service providers to connect them by way of broadband satellite service. The minister explained that the service providers are selected through a public tendering process. He said these services had to be outsourced because the e-governance network is presently unable to have such a far reach. Areas where they have reached, we've actually started providing service under the e-government network program. And, but we cannot delay the provision of internet services to the students in the hinterland because that project hasn't reached them as yet. And so what has happened is that we found a way of actually providing the internet service now before e-government reaches them and that this is the contract that's been awarded and that we expect that the students will be benefiting from these services um, in the schools that have been mentioned. In an effort to bring the country into the digital age, the Ministry of Telecommunications has been setting up information and communication technology hubs in various communities across the country. The ministry hopes that within the next five years, every community in the country would have its own hub. Davina Samaru, Newsroom.